Hello and happy Sunday. This is Kelly with ifyouhaveanegg.com and today is Sunday, December the 31st. It's Christmas Eve. Can you believe it? We're going to have a little bit different chat tonight. We are not live here with you tonight. We are going to try and join you though. Casey is going to try and have this premiere on Facebook so that we can attend with you and we can say hello to everybody virtually. Um, so hopefully we're going to be out there in virtual land with you all as well. But again, hello and happy Sunday. I'm Kelly. This is ifyouhaveanegg.com. Today is Sunday, December the 31st. It is Christmas Eve. Uh, again, not going to be here for the whole time, and this is not a live chat. So if you're joining us and you're thinking, why is she not telling everybody hi and hello like normal? I'm telling all y'all hi and hello right now, um, and hopefully Casey and I will be able to join with you live so that we can tell you our highs and hellos, but this is not a live broadcast. You are watching a broadcast that I actually did on Saturday. And for the next couple of weeks, these will be pre-recorded so that we can spend the holidays with our families. Um, today is Christmas Eve. I already said that twice, but today is Christmas Eve and hello and happy Sunday, everybody. Next Sunday is Alyssa's sixth birthday and she would be extremely disappointed if I had a chat unless she was the star of the chat, and then she might be okay with it. Just kidding, she would be extremely disappointed if we had the chat instead of celebrating her birthday. So tonight, we are gonna be keeping this short and sweet, um, not a full hour chat. Again, hopefully Casey and I will be able to join with you all. She's gonna try and premiere this on Facebook so that we can be with you um, and tell you, you know, hi and hello. And I wanted y'all to see our cute little Christmas tree cute little Christmas tree that we had here at Casey Kitchen Center this week. I am seriously so going to miss this when it is time to wrap everything up. Um, I love Christmas decorations. They're my absolute favorite. There's just nothing. There is no other time of the year that we can decorate that makes me this excited. Sorry. I love warm weather, but nothing makes me as excited as some good old-fashioned Christmas decorations. Again, December the 24th. Today is Christmas Eve. This is 2023. We are sliding in fast um, to New Year's. We're almost at 2024. Welcome, welcome everybody. If you are brand new, I hope that you will go ahead and shout out hello. We would love to welcome you even though we are not live tonight, but we would love to welcome you later. If you're watching this later on YouTube, that's just youtube.com, search if you have an egg. Would also love to welcome you there and would love to tell you um, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to your family. So the next two weeks, not live and not normal. So we're not gonna go over our normal things. I can't have you do the normal thumbs ups and hearts because I won't be able to see them live. We will be back live with you on Sunday, January the 7th, and everything should be wound down, should be good to go by then, and you all should be ready to go as well. We'll also catch up on your homework. So on Sunday, July, or January, July, okay, Sunday, January the 7th, we will also catch up on any homework that you've done. We'll catch up on what is going, what has been going on with Weight Watchers um, for those prior two weeks while we have celebrated so much. And we will just get back into all the highs and hellos. Um, we have, so today, I already said this four times now, today is Christmas Eve, tomorrow, today is Christmas Eve, tomorrow is Christmas, Saturday, is Casey's 30th birthday. So if y'all would love to give a shout out to Casey and wish her a happy 30th birthday, this would be a great time to do it. Then Sunday is Alyssa's sixth birthday and Casey and Alan's wedding anniversary. And it's New Year's Eve. And then the next day is New Year's Day. So a lot going on. Thank you. Thank you all for your patience while we skip a couple of weeks, um, excuse me, a couple of weeks of doing this live. But I just wanted to spend the time that we have um, together tonight to chat with you all a little bit about kind of keeping the sanity, you know, during the holidays. So I just rattle off like six events that we have. So we've got Christmas Eve services, we've got birthday parties, we have um, Christmas Eve itself, we have Christmas Day itself, we've got, you know, people to go visit, people to come and visit us, we've got cookies to make, we've got all kinds of things to do. And I just wanted to spend a little bit of time with you all tonight. Um, first of all, thanking you all um, for being here and being with us. You all are so amazing for being here on Christmas Eve and for even thinking about doing this the week of Christmas. Um, but also, just to kind of give you all a few tips and tidbits on how I keep my sanity this time of year, you know, how I absolutely do not lose my mind. So, some of the things that I would like to talk to you about 
um, you know, kind of ways to keep your sanity during the holidays. Um, one is a meal planner, a simple, simple, simple meal planner. A friend of my dear friend Becky got this for me, and this is just a, a I thought this was perfect for tonight because it is such a simple little meal planner. There's not a lot of room on this to get super fancy. You can't go crazy. Um, you can't get, you know, kind of all involved and all, you know, all bogged down, you know, in what you're doing when you've only got this much room to write in. So I loved this one for kind of keeping it simple during the holidays. So I have on here for Monday. Monday is Christmas. That's tomorrow. Merry Christmas, everybody, and welcome if you were just joining us. Merry Christmas to you. This is not a live chat. This is a pre-recorded chat, so sorry I'm not saying hello to individual people, although Casey did point out that there are about 38 of you who attend almost every single week, and that I could, and I could probably rattle off your names in order of when you join the chat, but anyway, I digress. Hopefully, you will be with, here with us as this premieres um, as a pre-recorded video so that we can tell you hi and hello. But I have put down on this super um, pocket size meal planner, super cute, thank you, Becky, uh, Monday, Christmas, and it's gonna be snacks. So what we are having for Christmas, we're not doing a big elaborate meal. We're not doing you know a traditional giant meal like my grandmothers used to do. We're not even having a big meal like we had at Thanksgiving. We are keeping it so super simple. We're doing um, cream cheese sausage balls. We're doing buffalo chicken dip, which I've already been asked to make sure is on the menu. It's on the menu, calm down. We're doing a breakfast casserole. Casey's doing a pinwheel roll up. We're having some fruit. We're having some veggie dips, um, lots of things like that. We're having some, you know, we're having coffee. Let's see, what else are we having? Um, don't remember what else is on that menu, but everything that I'm bringing is made with um, fat-free cream cheese, which we'll talk about again here in just a few minutes. Um, but yeah, we're just keeping it really simple, really light, um, just finger food, you know, so we can just kind of graze all day and not have to sit down to one giant meal. That's also going to help us to stay pretty active because we can just pick up and go, you know, if the girls want to go outside or something, we can pick up and go. The next day, which is Tuesday, the day after Christmas, I've already made a big pot of the cabbage soup that we talked about a couple of weeks ago. It is literally just cabbage. I put some mushrooms in mine. It's got a little tiny bit of, um, of ground beef, lean, very lean ground beef in it. Some chopped tomatoes, uh, crushed tomatoes, sorry. It's got garlic and it has turmeric in it. So that cabbage soup, I'm gonna have it just with a little light sandwich. That is what I'm gonna live on on Tuesday just to kind of try and detox from all of this holiday um, you know, craziness and wonderful food. But that cabbage soup with the turmeric and the garlic is really, if it's gonna provide some fluid, it's gonna provide some water, it's gonna provide some fiber so that I can kind of get my tummy and my system back on track on Tuesday. So I hope you're already thinking about something like that. I think I hope you're already thinking ahead to what you're gonna do the day after Christmas and the days after that, instead of saying, no, I'm just gonna wait until the first of the year. Don't wait until the first of the year. Go ahead and make a plan for getting back on track. And then, because the rest of that week is going to be hairy, getting ready for Casey's birthday, Alyssa's birthday, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, anniversary, blah, 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 on Wednesday, we're just going to do a super simple chili bar. So, I, hopefully, I'll be able to show you the chili bar next Sunday night when this is pre-recorded, or I'll try to do another little video in between then, you know, just to kind of, just to kind of, um, sprinkle something, you know, in between since we couldn't be live tonight, but just a super simple chili bar, and the chili bar put out your low point chili, and then just set out kind of like a charcuterie for chili. Things like light shredded cheeses, um, sour light sour cream, where you could do non-fat plain Greek yogurt, jalapenos, black olives, you know, things like that. But just make a bar so that everybody can kind of help themselves and get some chili. You don't have to go crazy. You can make the chili in your Instant Pot, your slow cooker, you know, however you need to, just to not go crazy this year. I want to remind you that last week we talked about um, making it a double, having some some uh, reusable zippered bags, having some freezer bags, having things like that on hand. This is is part of my, literally part of my um, holiday sanity. Everything we make, everything that we make for Monday, we will be making double, and we'll be using these reusable zippered bags. Um, Casey's already bought some gallon Ziploc bags of her own, like the Ziploc brand bags on her own. To put her things in but everything that we make for monday we will be making a double of because again all of mine will be lightened up um, points the points values will be lightened up so we're making doubles of it so that we can put these in the freezer and store them and we need to pop them back out we've got plenty for leftovers don't have to worry about that 
that will save your sanity. <laughs> Having things that people can reach in, get in the freezer, pop it in the microwave and heat it up without your involvement literally will keep you sane. Keeping simple, simple, simple things that even kids can do, like um, some kind of super easy pancake or um, waffle mix. Um, I do like the Kodiak cakes. I have it in three different flavors right now. You all watched me make those little mini protein waffles a couple of weeks ago. It's been a couple of chats ago. So easy. Literally all you need for these is, let me find it. If you're going to do um, flapjacks or if you're going to do pancakes, you need water. You need this and water and that's all you need surely to goodness a guest in your house or some children with assistance can make up a batch of pancakes super simple super easy this is a sanity keeper these are also chock full of protein the um, each serving of kodiak cakes has 15 grams of protein so while you're tired you're going around the hustle and bustle you're th already thinking about okay today i'm doing this but tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day Keep some protein. So do something that's going to give you some protein, but this is a super simple way. And again, anybody can make these, even your husband. Even your husband can make these. Um, if you wanted to do the, um, if you wanted instead, if you wanted to do the waffles, um, that recipe is already on if you have an egg.com. It's just a couple of extra ingredients. It's got some nonfat plain Greek yogurt. It also has um, an egg and a little bit of milk, and you can do that super super easy so grab you something like this it's not too late today's christmas eve hopefully your stores are still open and you can grab something like this you can also get um pancake mix that you just put water in shake it up and pour it out keep it super super simple have some simple things like that on hand doubling it up hashtag make it a double or something super easy like some pancake or waffle mix super sanity keeper will help you keep your sanity Another thing that's going to keep it keep it so simple this year, keep your sanity. Did you know it is okay to use paper plates, napkins, and pre-put-together utensils? So we found these at Marshall's here in um, Knoxville. I don't know if y'all have Marshall's or not, but it's just a discount store that has a lot of, you know, unusual things already put together little napkin bundles super cute spent zero time on this some cute and they were so inexpensive too some super cute napkins and paper plates nobody but your grandma needs to waste any time cleaning dishes this year um you don't you just don't need to spend a lot of time trying to wash dishes um spend time with your family things that can entertain the kiddos so one thing that we have found and john actually discovered this and our grandchildren are obsessed with this and it is so cute and that is actual dvds so i know you're thinking what on earth does that have to do with weight watchers i'm telling you if you can keep your sanity this holiday season then this has everything to do with weight watchers because this will keep kids out of your hair and sometimes your husband out of your hair older family members away and out of the kitchen while you can take some time to put some fat-free cream cheese in something or to lighten something up so that they're not standing over the top of you going, what are you doing? What is that? Why does that say fat-free? Why does that say, you know, low-fat? Why does that say sugar-free? Why does that say whatever? Get them out of your hair. Take some peace and quiet. Get some things done. And if you have one, don't rush out and buy anything. But if you have an old DVD player, we have like three of them now. We have one, one that we had, one that John's mom and dad had, and then we got an inexpensive one as a backup. But I'm telling you, the girls have had such a good time going through a stack of DVDs that we already owned, or even better, pack some of them up, send them out the door, and send them to Redbox. I don't know if y'all still have that in your area, and I've heard, I have heard that Blockbuster is coming back. Don't know if that's true or not, but I heard a rumor that there are Blockbuster stores getting ready to reopen. But Red Redbox around here, so we're in Knoxville, Tennessee, and there is a Redbox at every CVS. There is a Redbox at some um, department, not department stores, but like Walmart and some places like that. If you think kids would ha have a good time picking out a DVD, well, let me just back up a second and say, this is completely different than flipping through your television, looking at Disney+, Plus, looking at Netflix, looking at, um, you know, Apple TV, all those kinds of things. Physically, there's something to be said for physical, tangible, holding something, going through the mall, opening it, letting the children take out what the DVD is, go ahead and take it out, put it into the DVD player, watching it come out. 
I can't explain it, but it there's just something so tangible about that. Sort of how I feel when I'm flipping through a physical catalog instead of looking for seeds online or clothes online or something. If you can flip through an actual catalog, but back to Redbox, we do have, still have Redbox here in Tennessee, and I'd be interested to know how many of you all had Red have still have Redbox or still have some kind of you know service like that where you could actually check out DVDs and take them home. And has anybody else heard and can you confirm the rumor about Blockbuster if that is coming back? But this was such an experience for us when we were in middle school and high school. John's parents were the first people I knew to actually have a DVD player. And it was this big, or it was a VHS, I guess, but it was this big. I mean, it was huge. It was so big. Um, and we used to go to a store called Video Village. That was our Friday night tangible picking out a movie selecting it together putting it in i'm just telling you it's a, just a totally different experience and then the red box experience letting them go and kind of sort through and then choose their own um dvd or you know movie and having it come out and taking it home completely worth it it is totally worth it this is a sanity saver it's giving them something to do besides just clicking you know just clicking through the channels okay next thing for you Oh, here's another DVD. I brought Mouse Hunt too. This is this one is a favorite. I've got to remember to take these back because these are a couple of their favorites, and I don't want to accidentally leave them here at work. Okay, a sanity saver for you that again has nothing to do with Weight Watchers, and yet it has everything to do with Weight Watchers, and that is find a good book. If you have not started a good book, find one. Go ahead and dive into the middle of it. Nothing is going to collapse or disappear or whatever at Christmas at the holidays if you take a few minutes for yourself and go dig into a book and if you have not read Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens if you have not read that yet oh my gosh oh my gosh it is all the feels all of the feels um highly recommended like highly recommended I think Casey would tell you that she highly recommends it you know as well but again just kind of that Get away from the holidays, take a break, take a break from the tinsel, take a break from all of this madness, and just find yourself a book and go be quiet for a few minutes. That's what I did last night. It took me about 20 minutes to finish this. It took me a lot longer than that to read it, but I had just a couple of chapters left, and I just told everybody, look, you know, we're going to be super busy tomorrow. You know, it, it, it's Christmas Eve. It's Christmas Eve and then Christmas Day. So last night, I took this, finished it. I was just quiet fantastic way to wind down and it kept me from going back and getting in Santa's Christmas cookies if you know what I'm talking about okay so that's another sanity saver um also water please 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 do not forget to drink your water so I know you're going to be running I know you're going to be crazy I know you're going to be eating don't tell me you're not going to be eating because if you do you're lying I know you're going to have things that have way too much sodium Please, 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 please make sure that you have plenty of water. Please do not discard this. Please do not um, poo-poo this. Please do not say, oh, no, 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 no. I got it. I got it. I got it. Not having enough water. And we've got chats. We have previous chats on that that you can go back and look at. Not having enough water can make you tired. You do not need to be tired in the middle of all of this. Not having enough water can dehydrate you. You do not want to be dehydrated. And it is so hard to know when you've hit that point. Like it's it's a it's a fine line between hmm, I'm kind of thirsty and full on dehydration, which can lead to some other things. Having enough water can keep you from eating things that you didn't mean to. Not having enough water can make you think that you're hungry instead. Drink it, drink it, drink it. I will tell you also one thing when I'm hustling and bustling, running around like this, if I don't drink enough water, I will for sure 100% get a headache. For sure. Even if I've had caffeine that day, even if I've had plenty of sleep the night before, if I do not have enough water, and I'm talking about water, and if you need to flavor it, if you're one of those people who just cannot drink plain water, bless your heart, um, but I'm talking about water. I'm not talking about a Coke. I'm not talking about coffee. I'm not talking about tea, lemonade, whatever. I'm talking water. Even if you have to put just a little bit of some kind of flavoring in it or put a slice of lemon in it or something like that. Um, but getting some water, if I do not get enough water, I will get a headache. Usually the headache is so bad. It's so bad that aspirin, Tylenol, um, ibuprofen, 
won't even touch it and I'm already to that point before I even realize what's going on before I even realize oh my gosh I have a headache because I've not had enough water to drink and I usually refer to that as a quart low you know oh no I'm running a quart low and if I'm a quart low I've got to have a headache I'm gonna be tired I'm gonna be mm, I won't call it angry, but I'm not gonna be in the best of moods. Drink your water for some holiday sanity, okay? Please do not forget it. Um, next thing is make sure, and I'm gonna scoot this out of the way so I can show y'all how this works. Make sure that you have plenty of batteries so that you, and I know this is a can of pumpkin, don't pay attention to it yet. I'm gonna show you why on batteries here in just a, in just a second. Make sure you have plenty of batteries, double A's and triple A's, and if you have smoke detectors, make sure that you have got those 9-volt batteries in there ready to go. But make sure that you have those things on hand. You are going to wake up. If you have small children, you are going to find toys on Christmas Day that you didn't get batteries for. Maybe pick up a couple of C's or some D's too, just in case. You're going to find something that didn't have batteries. You're going to find the remote control all of a sudden doesn't work. Or you're going to have some other appliance, remote control, toy something in your house on Christmas Day that needs a battery or that the batteries have just died. Don't put yourself in that situation. What I'm getting ready to show you, I almost put me in that situation, not during a holiday, but right before a live chat. So it's probably been about four weeks ago now, four to five weeks ago now, I was getting ready to make some kind of soup or something for one of our live chats. And by the way, in case you were just now joining us, Merry Christmas. Today is Sunday, December the 24th. This is not a live chat. This was pre-recorded um, so that we could share it here with you on Christmas Eve and not miss that time with, um, with our family. Quick side note, I know I'm interrupting myself, but quick side note, we will not be live again until Sunday, January the 7th, because next Sunday is New Year's Eve, and it is also Alyssa's sixth, sixth birthday. So tonight is pre-recorded. Next Sunday night will be pre-recorded. Hopefully the way Casey has this configured, hopefully we are here with you. This will also be a shortened version of our chats. Um, yeah, so that y'all can enjoy time with your families as well. And we will get back to our regular schedule and to homework time two weeks from tonight. So it'll be Sunday, January the 7th. Okay, so I digress. We had, a few weeks ago, I was getting ready to do a live chat and didn't have a can opener. So we were just talking about making sure that you have batteries, that everything that you're gonna need for tonight and tomorrow, so tonight's Christmas Eve, tomorrow's Christmas Day, so you kinda need to be thinking about this now, um, that you have everything you have is working, that you have batteries for it, that it's charged, you know, whatever the case may be, don't wait until tomorrow morning and realize as you're putting together, or at three o'clock this morning, as you're putting together the last of your child or grandchild's toys, don't be caught in the, oh no, I don't have batteries, or I don't have X to open it, or I don't have anything that'll open this packaging or take off these um, crazy bands that are holding everything together. Just be sure that you've got all of that ready. Case in point, four or five weeks ago, I was getting ready, we were getting ready to do a live chat, and I needed to be able to make some soup. We're here at Casey Kitchen Center, had not occurred to me. This is our, I'm gonna call it our new location, but we've been here almost a year. So we will have been here a year, January the 30th, but I didn't realize we don't have a can opener. Apparently everything that I have prepared during our live chats has had a can with a pop top. There has not been a can opener. So four or five weeks ago, about an hour to an hour and a half before the live chat, I had to call my son-in-law who lives six minutes over the hill and say, I'm kind of freaking out. Do you have a can opener? I ha this has to be ready in an hour and a half. So he got hopped in his car, drove over here, and he brought me their manual can opener. Whew. About 10 or 15 minutes later and sweating, I was because it was not in great shape. I say that to show you what I ordered for myself and Casey. That day, as soon as that chat was over, I thought, I'm never going to be in this position again. I'm not ever going to be in the position again where I'm getting ready to start the live chat or we're getting ready to start supper or something's getting ready to happen. And we either don't have a can opener. Let me set these out of the way real quick. And we either don't have a can opener 
or we don't have batteries or we don't have whatever. So I ordered us two of these. This has saved my sanity over the last couple of weeks after it confused me. This is called Kitchen Mama and I will post the link to this on Amazon. This thing is insane. It's so insane that I'm gonna actually show you how it works because I can't explain how it works. So it has this little metal circle on here after you put the batteries in, you literally just lay it. You just lay it on the can and it's like magnetic, so it's already attached itself to it. And press this button. I am not touching it. I am not touching the kitchen mama. And you all can see she has found the can. <clears throat> she is circling the can. I'm not sweating, no sweating, no cranking, okay, and you hear when the noise changes, she's made it all the way around, and you press it one more time, and she releases, and now check this out, a perfect, perfect circle, and it's still the lid, and while you would not want to store food this way, look at that, you can't even tell that it was an open can. Talk about a holiday lifesaver. This is a Kitchen Mama. This is a Kitchen Mama um, can opener. This thing is crazy. You do need to make sure, though, that you have AA batteries to go in this. But a Kitchen Mama can opener, totally crazy. We'll never be without one again. Not sweaty. Not sweaty from having to use a manual can opener. Absolutely amazing. I love, 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 love my Kitchen Mama. Um, can opener. Okay, my holiday superpower, you all already know what that is, and that is fat-free cream cheese. Uh-oh, bottle brush tree down. And to save my sanity, to keep me, to keep me sane during the holidays, I have already made some fat-free cream cheese. I already have some in the refrigerator in a mason jar. And I have another batch of it going tonight um, so that I can finish our food for tomorrow so that I can finish it in the morning. Super easy to make. This can make a 40 to 50 point difference over a, over a recipe. So I'm not talking per serving, but a 40, 40, double digits, 40 to 50 point difference in some of your holiday recipes and some of your normal recipes so easy to do, even I can do it. Um, Y'all already know the story behind this. I argued with one of my friends for a long time. She kept saying, oh, you can make your own fat-free cream cheese. And I was like, I don't, why would I make, why would I make cream cheese? There are people, there are people out there who make cream cheese, they do a great job at it. I don't wanna steal their job. I'm not making my own cream cheese. And then COVID happened and fat-free cream cheese got scarce. Then you couldn't find it at all. And I said, okay. I give up. I give up. I succumb to you. I will go ahead and try to make my own fat-free cream cheese. Please tell me what supplies I need to get. I already had everything I needed. You can use coffee filters. You can use paper towels, although that's not my favorite way to do it because it's not, it's just a little less um, efficient. Um, you can use a reusable coffee filter, like the, the kind with the mesh net. You can totally use that. You can use actual cheesecloth. I've gotten to where I just use either the um, the reusable coffee filter or if I need to make a bigger batch of it, I just use this strainer that we already had. And this has only been this has only been making cream cheese for a couple of hours, but you can see how much liquid came off the top. This is you don't have to buy anything fancy, you don't have to do anything fancy. It literally cooks itself and it's not cooking. Um, but this is non-fat plain Greek yogurt, and that is just yogurt cultures. It has um, all the live, um, it has all the live cultures in it. So it's not like in fat-free cream cheese. Yeah, it's milk, but there's no, there's no prebiotics or probiotics in it. This is non-fat plain Greek yogurt with live cultures. And I'm making fat-free cream cheese out of it. Actually, it's, I'm not even making it. All I did was dump it into this strainer over something that it could drain into and then loosely cover the top. That's it. Set it and forget it. It is absolutely making itself. This in its own, this by itself is my single most 
sanity saving, life saving, point saving thing that I can do for myself at the holidays or any other time of the year. Again, this will be used to make cream cheese sausage balls. We will be using this to make um, a breakfast casserole that will provide the cream cheese for the breakfast casserole. You can make whips and dips with this. You can make, you can use this fat-free cream cheese to make, um, we'll be making buffalo uh, chicken dip with it tomorrow morning, which is a fan favorite. And I told somebody today, I've never ever had leftovers unless I made a double batch. I've never had leftovers of buffalo chicken dip and it is only one point per serving. All of those recipes are already on if you have an egg.com. This though is my lifeline. This is my holiday saver. I am so glad that my friend Bobby made me learn how to make this. Now she's got some other things I'm not gonna ever learn how to do maybe but this one was an absolute life saver. So just remember things like that, that are your, they're your holiday superpowers, they're your Weight Watcher superpowers, they're your sanity superpowers. Just keep those things in mind this holiday season. Um, again, I'm gonna end with three things that I want you to do for me this week while we wait until next week to talk to each other again. Again, this is Sunday, December the 24th. Today is Christmas Eve, tomorrow is Christmas Day. Next Saturday is Casey's birthday. Next Sunday is Alyssa's sixth birthday. And then uh, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, their wedding anniversary, boom, boom, boom. But today, Sunday, December the 24th, we are not live. So if you were joining with us, like if you didn't hear the first part of this and you're just now joining with us, this is not live tonight like normal. This was pre-recorded so that we can enjoy Christmas Eve with our, um, with our families. And you can too, because you can come back and watch this at any time. But if you are here with us, please say hello, because Casey and I are going to try and watch this with you. And we would love to say hi and hello, just like, you know, like normal. Um, if you're watching this later on YouTube, or if you do just watch this later, go ahead and say hi or hello in the comments. And I promise we will respond to you. If you're watching this later on YouTube, again, hi and hello. That's just YouTube.com. Search if you have an egg. We would love to chat with you. Love to... Um, wish you a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever you are celebrating. Um, so tonight has not been our normal workshop. Normally this is one hour long and the first 30 minutes is classroom from whatever the topic was for the prior week for Weight Watchers. We will get back to that two weeks from tonight. Um, but tonight, no, no homework. I'll give you Bravo stickers to everyone for being here on the eve of Christmas. Bravo to all of you all, but there are three things, no homework this week, but there are three things that I want you to do for me. If you don't do anything else, I want you to open your app one time. You do not have to track anything. You don't have to write anything down. You don't have to look up a recipe. You don't have to go to connect. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do. But at some point over this holiday weekend, I want you to open your app just one time. Just staying in your app is going to kind of keep you aware and in the you know in the present um, but it's going to keep you aware you know of this journey even if you don't track anything again until January the 2nd I wish you would but even if you don't I want you to open your app one time this holiday weekend if possible this week I want you to either attend an in-person workshop even if you don't weigh in so if you have the opportunity to go to an in-person workshop and if you are if you are here in Knox Knoxville Jacksboro Powell Clinton you know, somewhere around here, North Knoxville Halls, pal, um, we will be meeting, um, Gwen will have her meetings on Tuesday morning, um, the day after Christmas, she'll have her meetings Tuesday morning, and um, on Tuesday evening, there at uh, Beaver, Creek Cumber Beaver Creek Cumberland Presbyterian Church, that's such a long name, um, but she will be having her regular meetings there, so again, even if you don't weigh in, if you have an opportunity to go to an in-person workshop, fantastic. I hope that you will do it. If you have an, an opportunity to go to a Zoom workshop, um, Gwen has one of those on Thursday nights on Zoom, um, please do that. If nothing else, check in with a friend. So attend a workshop, attend a Zoom workshop, or at least just check in with a friend this week. And then the third thing I would ask you to do just once this week, I want you to eat one meal on plan. Even if nothing else this week, even if you just eat and I don't encourage this, but even if you just ate cookies the rest of this week, or if you just ate sausage balls all week, or whatever happens, I want you to eat one meal, just more than one is fine, but at least one meal on plan this week. So open your app once this holiday weekend. Please try to attend, even if you don't weigh in, an in-person workshop, a Zoom workshop, um, or check in with a friend this week. And I want you to eat one meal that is on plan this week. 
Okay, so thank you very much for letting me have this abbreviated time of a pre-recorded video. Um, we will be back live on January the 7th. We will have another pre as long as this one goes okay, you'll know, because if it does, um, we will have another pre-recorded video next Sunday night, since that is Alyssa's birthday and Casey and Alan's anniversary and New Year's Eve. Whew, all of that. We'll have another one next um, Sunday, and then we'll be back to our normally scheduled um, live chats on Sunday, January the 7th. But until then, if you're watching this on YouTube, please let that next video go ahead and roll over and click on subscribe. I would appreciate it very, very much. That could be your Christmas present to me is to go ahead and click the subscribe button and then also check that little bell so you are notified when we go live. Um, otherwise, have a very Merry Christmas. Um, I will see you all not so live next week, but I hope you have a fantastic, fantastic week. Um, I hope you are blessed beyond imagination, and I will see you next time. Good night.